number? Really? What's the number? With summer less than a month away, what better time than now than to start getting your playlist ready? Maybe you've already heard of the hit song that should jump to the top of your list, but if not, it's okay, I'm here to tell you all about it. No, it's not the next big thing from Drake or even Megan Thee Stallion. Instead, I'm talking about what's currently one of the internet's most viral songs, FNF Let's Go by the incomparable Glorilla. This Memphis-based rapper teamed up with the producer Hit Kid to produce this propulsive hit about ditching her lover to hang out with her girls, and people all over North America can't seem to get enough of its attitude and course, the latter of which I'm definitely not allowed to repeat to you on this family-friendly show. But right now, the music video to that track sits at just over 10 million views on YouTube, and by the end of August, I'm sure there will be millions more tacked onto that number. But just who is this woman who's sick and tired of all these unfaithful men looking to ruin her good time and how did she transform herself into one of the next up and coming rappers? Stay tuned to our latest edition of Before They Were Famous to find out. Lorilla was born Gloria Woods in Memphis, Tennessee, more specifically a northwest side neighborhood known as Frazier, an area of the city with a population of just over 45,000 individuals. As for her childhood, well, she recalls it as being fun, but at times dangerous. Like Memphis, it, it was fun growing up in Memphis though. Uh -huh. like, um, it was bad. I mean, not bad. Like, you know, the city got his... Got know. his name, I know. Trust yeah, type shit. But you know, it's really... I'm really proud to say I'm from Memphis, but I just don't want to stay in Memphis. But as of the early stages of 2022, she's 22 years old, meaning that she was probably born somewhere in late 99 or early 2000. Beyond that, here's what we do know. According to her Facebook page, as a teenager, Gloria attended a whole host of local high schools, including Melrose, Martin Luther King Jr. College Preparatory, and Ridgeway High. Outside of school, Gloria found her passion for music while singing in church where her extremely religious mother would often take her, sometimes as many as four times in a week. From that point forward, she had high hopes of one day becoming a singer. The only problem, as a teenager, she lost her singing voice. I used to sing in church, oh, okay, and I wanted, to, I wanted to be a singer. But I, I realized I couldn't sing no more. What? So, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't sing what? no more. So I started rapping because I always wanted to be on the scene of music. Okay. Now, how exactly did that happen? Well, apparently she started smoking too much in high school, but just because one avenue closed doesn't mean that she had to give up on her dream of taking center stage completely. Instead, she decided to become the next best thing, a rapper. For about as long as it's been around, part of the beauty in rap music has been the possibility that anything can happen. At any given point, some random freestyle or new single with no chorus can ride a wave of popularity and cross over into audiences outside of that rapper's home city. And that's exactly what's happening now to Glorilla, thanks to FNF. First released at the end of April 2022, it would take a few weeks before this song blew up into an underground hit and transformed Glorilla, a talented artist who's been around for a hot minute, but one that many hadn't heard of yet, into a full-on star. And perhaps the craziest thing about it is that she recorded the track and the music video in the same freaking day. And this me and her went in the booth and we just kept saying their part. And so after we got done, he was like, alright, this was at 1, we got done with the session at 1. Mm -hmm. He said, alright, video today at 4 o'clock. I said, damn! When I'm talking about 4 o'clock, he said, I really want to shoot that hoe right now. But he was like, 4 o'clock. After releasing a trailer with a snippet of the track on her Instagram page, the song was further assisted by DJ Duffy, who created a TikTok with Glorilla's bars playing in the background. And just like that, the song's popularity skyrocketed. Now, we've already discussed what the song is about, a newly single Glorilla's overwhelming desire to party, and its message that nearly everyone who listens to the song, man or woman, can relate to. Oh, so she's newly single, eh? Of course, it probably helps that the accompanying music video is chock full of her and her friends shaking ass, walling out, getting drunk, just generally having more fun than any of us have had in the past couple years. Who are your ratchet ass friends? My friends in the video, they ratchet. What's their name? TZ. Asia. How's TZ ratchet? What makes her ratchet? She acts like a dumbass. And, um, <laughs> she be acting real ratchet, like she be acting like she from, you know how Memphis people mm -hmm. act. But here's the thing, like I've already hinted at, Glorilla's been posting music online for a while now. Inspired by her favorite rapper, Chief Keef, Gloria created her own SoundCloud account at the end of 2018 and registered it under the nickname her cousin had come up with her, Glorilla, based off of, you guessed it, her very first name. My cousin gave me my name, cause my cousin, no, like I'm really, Really be on some savage shit. Yeah. <laughs> but you know my name, Glow, anyway, then boom, he hit it with the gone with the Glorilla junk, so, yeah. You know, I for one really do like it when someone's rap name is a play off of their real name, especially when it's like unexpected. I really didn't think that Glorilla Pimp would be named Gloria in real life. I mean, like imagine if Young Thug's first name was Thug Naramus or something. You'd think it's a rap name, but you know. 
was like, oh, there's, there's, it's, it's real. Yeah. Not just making shit up. It's not like your name was Chris and you like renamed yourself Clyde or some shit like that. It's not even like Clyde's like her middle name or something. Anyways, moving on. She then posted a couple of duo tracks under the name of Pretty Thugs with titles like Wear and Ride before branching out on her own with further releases such as Solo and Favorite. Afterwards, she'd abandon SoundCloud and record and release her debut mixtape titled Most Likely Up Next dropping it on YouTube in June of 2019. The following year, she'd move on to an EP titled P Status, which was also released on her YouTube channel. 2020 would be an even bigger year for her, and that's when she'd team up with the producer behind her breakthrough hit, the aptly titled Hit Kid, to participate in an EP of his cuts, starring other Memphis-based female rappers like Slime Roni, Elzia, K Carbon, and one of Glorilla's best friends, Gloss Up. I need a Glorilla and Gloss Up track. That's, that's dope. I bet there already is one. I need to get put on. But with as much potential as those early tracks hinted at, it wouldn't be until the release of FNF that Glorilla finally found her footing and created what's currently one of the 10 most watched videos on YouTube at this moment in time. Yes, right up there with releases from the likes of Kendrick Lamar and Future. In fact, the song has become such a hit that Glorilla has already tapped fellow MC Sweetie to appear on the upcoming remix. Something that was teased with a social media post from some behind the scenes footage from their music video shoot. As for what's next for this talented artist who now has the entire world at her fingertips, well, I can only imagine that nearly as many record labels are lining up to throw cash at her, as she now has even her ex-boyfriends looking to get back with her. Can understand that. So, um, she really got done with my lashes late. I really was an hour late, because he said pull up at 7, she got done with my lashes at like 6.50, and I'm all the way in Cordova. They all the way downtown. So, um, he texted me the whole day, he like, let me know when you come up with a chorus. So keep your eyes peeled to this space and our famous news channel on Instagram to keep up to date on how much further Glorilla blows up. As for what happens next, well, you already know the deal. After all, this is Before They Were Famous. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video. Maybe you guys will see me as a love interest in the next Glorilla music video. Who knows? A man can manifest, can he? Anyways, 